Hello and welcome to the latest wealthmanagement.com fast chat. My name is Dave Chanowski and I'm the senior technology editor here at Wealth Management. My guest today is Roxana Islam, who has her CFA and is an associate director of research at Alarian. Thanks for joining us today, Roxana. Thanks for having me. Really excited to be here. Well, today we are going to be discussing cryptocurrency investing. Um, I guess a good place to start is, you know, why would an investor use an indexed cryptocurrency product versus, you know, investing directly in Bitcoin or, or really any other cryptocurrency? Yeah, so I think there are several sort of obvious answers to that. You know, a lot of people are are just in general more comfortable trading equities. And so in these indexed products like ETFs, they trade like stocks. So, you know, that's a huge benefit for someone that's, you know, not comfortable trading crypto directly. Mm. And here at Alarian, um, we actually have a family of crypto and blockchain indexes. So there's actually eight indexes within these suites. And so the way that I sort of look at this with our indexes is that it's a lot more than just investing in cryptocurrency itself. So when you look at these indexes, we do they do invest a little bit in some crypto futures and crypto trusts. So you do get that aspect of you know the more direct currency trading. But then there's also this larger market out there that revolves around the crypto and blockchain space, like crypto miners, for example, crypto exchanges. I think I read this morning that there were um, you know, over 430 crypto exchanges out there now. And wow. uh, yeah, quite a few of those are, are becoming more public. And then you know, in our indexes, we also have some of the more standard companies that you'd be a little bit surprised about, um, you know, like financial companies, software companies that either have cryptocurrencies on their balance sheet or they're using blockchain technology to modernize their operations and make them more efficient. So, you know, when I think about these indexes, I don't just think about tracking the currency, which, you know, I know you could easily do on these slew of exchanges that are out there. I, like to me, it's really more about the digital transformation that we're experiencing. And, you know, I think we're still at the start of that and it has a lot more room to run. Okay. Well, you know, we, we still get plenty of advisors who are kind of, you kind of wonder why does anyone want to invest in that? So I'm curious, why do you think investors are attracted to the cryptocurrency and blockchain investments in the first place these days? So this, it's, it's a little bit of a tough question because I think the answer evolves constantly. Um, mm. You know, if you think about the way cryptocurrency first started, it was more of a digital payment system. It was really more for, you know, just a person who distrusted large institutions or large banks. And then from there, it sort of evolved into more of a trading instrument. You know, I think a lot of retail investors sort of enjoyed trading on the highs and lows, um, you know, hearing the news items, hearing about it on the news. And, you know, granted, a lot of people do have long term holdings in Bitcoin or Ethereum or some of the more established cryptocurrencies. But, you know, really, like people just started trading it everywhere. I had friends you know, who had you know, absolutely no interest in investing and all of a sudden they were becoming these huge crypto traders. And so now that's evolved even a step further and there's these corporations and now there's even banks, you know, that some of the early adopters were so distrustful of, you know, that are catching on to it. You know, banks are investing in cryptocurrency. They're using blockchain in their operations. Um, you know, they're starting these exchanges that I mentioned. And, you know, there's also I'm seeing like a lot of these research firms pop up now and they're just completely dedicated to cryptocurrency research. So it's really just growing and evolving and become, you know, really popular space. So, you know, I think the answer to that question would have been a lot more different a year ago than it would be yeah. today. Yes. So, you know, I think today they're just really recognizing it as a large growth market with huge potential. And, you know, it's it's sort of sort of uh, following the overarching theme that we have about the digital transformation and how our economy is becoming more digitalized. Okay. Well, th that said, where, where do you think cryptocurrency investments actually fit inside of investor portfolios? So, you know, I'd say it's definitely, a high, they're higher growth investments, which means they're a bit riskier. Um, you could fit them into the tech bucket, but you know they're definitely sort of their own sector, and mm. it's a very much thematic idea. Like it says, like I said, it's it's they probably take a lot of overarching themes from multiple sectors, and you know it's hard to give a concrete example because, as I mentioned, we have eight indexes in our family, so the constituent mix is slightly different when you. Go from one index to another but you know if you look at our constituent mix it's not just they're not just tech stocks 
we have industrial companies in there, we have retailers, we have financial institutions. So, you know, it's it's a very, it's like I said, it's a very interesting industry, but yes, yeah, it's definitely more towards the uh, riskier high growth side though. Okay. Um, there's, you know, talk about crypto, there's also a lot of talk about ESG these days and uh, ESG has been an important theme in the investment world now for quite a while. Um, where, where does cryptocurrency investments stand from an ESG perspective? Yeah, I mean, it seems like you can't go anywhere without really hearing about ESG and, and yeah. the clean future lately. So um, it, it's an interesting question that you ask. So I think that, you know, the out of the cryptocurrency related companies, the ones that are getting the most heat are obviously the crypto miners. Because, you know, there's this perception that you're seeing these large scale mining facilities that are using electricity 24 seven with, you know, millions of computers just farming crypto. But I don't think that's completely the case anymore. Um, so we have to remember, you know, it's still a new industry. So we don't see as much sustainability literature on it like we do with other equities. For example, if you go to, you know, an energy or transportation company's website, a lot of them just have a sustainability report up front. You know, because these companies have previously taken a lot of heat and they want to they want the public to know that they're taking steps. So the crypto miner um, industry is you know very new. So um, it's not as easy to find these documents readily available on their website. But actually, it, a lot of these companies have signed something called the Crypto Climate Accord, which is actually inspired by the Paris Climate Agreement. And then several companies have also, you know, been moving towards more cleaner energy like land, wind, natural gas. A lot of them are also, um, uh, they have their mining operations headquartered, you know, up in Canada or where it's cold, where they can take more advantage of the natural resources. So I think it's still very early to say that it's not an environmentally friendly in industry. Um, you know, I think they're taking some rather large steps and who knows as the industry gets more attention, maybe this could be a big growth catalyst for it in the future. Fascinating. Okay, well, yeah. with that, where, uh, where can investors go to learn more? So investors can go to our website at www.alarianandesnet.com to learn more about our crypto and blockchain family of indexes. So basically, we have eight of these different indexes that we offer, but I also should mention that two of these indexes are the underlying index or two different ETF products. Um, the names are a little bit of a mouthful, but it's the Invesco Alarian Galaxy Blockchain ETF, which is ticker BLKC, and the Invesco Alarian Crypto Economy ETF, which is ticker SATO. So on our website, you can also subscribe to our brand new Thematic Times newsletter, which covers a lot of these larger thematic trends in our thematic indexes, not just blockchain and crypto, but also some really interesting sectors like space, biotechnology, and travel. Wow. Well, that is a mouthful, but that does yeah. well spell out <laughs> what it actually is. And, and made yeah. up. Well, that's all the time we have today. Uh, I've been speaking with Roxana Islam, CFA, Associate Director of Research at Alarian. Uh, for more infor information, visit alarian.com. And uh, thank you all for joining us today. All right, thank you.